Hey guys, it's Lauren from Lauren Loves It, and today we are talking about the movie Searching. 911, what's your emergency? I'm calling to report a missing person. Okay, who is this regarding? My daughter. I'm the detective assigned to your daughter's case. I need to know how everything unfolded. Understood. I think we're gonna go late, like, ugh, all night. One, after a study session, Margot didn't return home. Margot Kim, school has her marked as absent today. Two, she didn't attend school on Friday. My daughter is in a lesson with you right now. Margot canceled her classes six months ago. And three, she's been transferring funds for the last six months. Do you remember Unfriended, that movie that was suspenseful, thriller, but played out completely on a computer screen? Well, Searching has the exact same producer, so I figured it would be the exact same type of uh, style. And I was right, sort of. Searching does play out on a computer screen, but there's so many added elements. Facebook, FaceTime, uh, text messages, iMessages, CCTV. Uh, it's just so many layers to add so much more potential to the film. Searching stars John Cho as a father desperate to find his missing teenage daughter. Deborah Messing plays the detective assigned to the case. So the beginning of the movie starts with this montage of videos and photos on computer screens that kind of show you the life of the Kim family. So there's David Kim, which is John Cho's character, his wife Pam, and their daughter Margot. We see Margot's first day of school from kindergarten all the way up to high school. We see Margot's love for piano that she shares with her mother. And we also see the unfortunate um, diagnosis of cancer that Pam has. So after that heartfelt first scene, they kind of lost me, or at least I thought they would. David has so many tabs open when he's looking on his computer and it gets a little uh, overwhelming. Even when I have a lot of tabs open on my own computer, I'm overwhelmed. So I thought to myself, I hope it's not going to be like this the whole movie. That lasted for about a minute and I was totally in guys, like totally in after 60 seconds, the tabs didn't even mean anything anymore to me. Deborah Messing plays this detective that we think is assigned to the case and she's a mother so she's relatable with David and they seem to be working together quite well in trying to find out where Margot has disappeared to. So as the story unravels and we dig deeper into emails and UCAS streams and Facebook messages and finding out who Margot really is, we get as involved as the characters. I drop my whole tub of popcorn when David decides to secretly film his own brother. I just, I love when movies surprise me and searching definitely surprised me in the best way. The suspense is something I have not seen in a very long time. Now this movie was originally at Sundance and it had the title Search instead of Searching. It was bought by Sony for a whopping $5 million. Edge of your seat suspense, heartfelt, unique, good acting. I have to say, searching, Lauren loves it. So the movie doesn't come out until August, so you have some time, but I definitely recommend going to see it. Comment below, let me know what you think of the movie when you see it, and also what you think of the trailer. I personally feel like the trailer does not do the movie justice, but let me know what you think. For more movies and TV and my personal life, you can follow me on Instagram. I am Lauren Turner. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.